Welcome to Designing Spaces Think Green, a special edition of the show that's all about you, your space, and living the greener lifestyle. We have a great lineup of topics for you today that's going to help you and your family live a more eco-friendly lifestyle. So let's get started right now and think green. With the rising cost of energy, homeowners are becoming increasingly aware of how important it is to have an energy efficient home. And with recent technical advances, utility costs are actually getting lower. So the question is, how efficient is your home? Well, let's join Heidi Drennan, who's in Country Club Hills, Illinois, visiting an energy doctor. With the rising demand for energy, our nation's power grids are working to the limits during peak hours. What can we do about it? Become energy efficient aware. Not only will you contribute to lowering demand, you'll lower costs. And now, you're thinking green. Designing Spaces Think Green has picked this home for a special walkthrough. We'll take a look at what has been done, as well as what could be done to reduce electrical consumption. I'm downstairs in the man cave of this home, and there is a lot of energy being used down here. The more areas of your home that you make energy efficient, the bigger the savings. And I am going to try to add to my savings, or not. Oh, well. With the popularity of plug-in electric cars, many utilities like ComEd offer online calculators and other resources that can help you choose the right vehicle. They can even tell you how much money you'll save. Before we begin our walkthrough, a few questions popped into my head to help set the stage for what we're about to see. We're in a Midwest home, and though there's no such thing as the typical American home, energy usage here is strikingly different from the usage of a typical home in the Southwest. Which systems or appliances in our home consume the most energy? Yeah, you know, basically you're looking at your heating and cooling, your lighting, kitchen appliances, electronics, and your refrigerator. So here they have the HD TV. Now, different TVs, you have the LCD, the plasma. Is it true that they consume different amounts of energy? They do. The plasma TVs, we all know, have a really great picture. Right. Those are the ones that use the most energy. Next is your LCD TVs. Those are a little bit more efficient. And the new TVs that are on the market now that are the LED TVs, those are the most efficient. Leaving game consoles on when not in use uses about the same amount of energy as a 100 watt light bulb. Put them on a power strip and turn off the power strip when not in use. Have you ever seen this sticker on your electric appliances and do you wonder what exactly it means? Energy Star is a program through the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the U.S. Department of Energy and it's a great way for consumers to find the most efficient appliances. So for an electronic or appliance to carry that logo, they have to meet very strict energy use guidelines. So if you're shopping for new appliances, that's a good clue for the most efficient ones out there. What are the signs that our home may not be operating with good energy efficiency? Probably one of the first things you're gonna notice is your electricity and your gas bills are probably higher than you would like. You're probably going to notice some areas that are too hot or too cold in your home. In the winter time, you might notice that there's ice hanging down, you're having ice dam problems. Those are some of the clues that can tell you that you need to look at a little bit more into being energy efficient. This room alone has a number of electrical devices. Can using a power strip like this one help us save energy? Some of your electronics, when they're turned off, they're still using power. So by plugging your DVD player and your game console into a power strip, and when you're finished playing, turning off the power strip, that can save some energy. They also have a laptop here. What about that? Another easy thing you can do is enable the power management system on your computer. The Energy Star website has detailed instructions that'll help you if you have a Mac or if you have a PC, find out exactly how to do that. Next stop is the kitchen. Appliances that use electricity are the refrigerator, the stovetop, the dishwasher, and small appliances. Time to make our way down into the basement, where the washer and dryer suck up a lot of energy. Almost 90% of the energy consumed by a washing machine goes to heating water. 
One of the things that we were always taught is that you had to use warm water or hot water in order to get your clothes clean. Well, now there are new laundry detergent formulations that work with cold water wash and then save the hot or warm water for when you have really dirty or oily stains on your clothes. So what about the dryer? What can we do to save energy there? First off, you want to make sure that you clean the lint filter every time. That'll make sure that the air can flow through the dryer or you can hang up those clothes and line dry them. Sure. Don't Just even like a, use it. Exactly. <laughs> I see they have the white foam up here. That's insulation, right? That's right. And insulation is so important because it helps keep the heat inside of your home in the winter and keeps you more comfortable. Same thing in the summer. It's going to keep that hot air from getting inside of your home so that cool air conditioning stays inside. Right. And so why insulation is important is it's blocking air, but it's also adding heat resistance value is a great way to save about 20% on your heating and cooling costs is by having your home air sealed and insulated. Sealing and insulating the envelope or shell of your home, its outer walls, ceiling, windows, doors, and floors is often the most cost-effective way to improve energy efficiency and comfort. So how valuable is a programmable thermostat in saving energy dollars? Programmable thermostats are great. They can save you about 10% on your heating and cooling costs over the course of the year. So what's great about them is they can automatically turn down your heat at night and during the day when you're gone at work, but then bring that temperature right back up before you arrive home. The important thing about them is you do need to use the program. They don't save energy if you have them overridden and you're not using the program. Oh, okay. There are other ways to save additional money once the house has been made efficient. Incentives. So if I'm a homeowner and I wanted a ComEd Energy Doctor to come over and evaluate my home, can I do that? Well, we have a program that's kind of like that, our Home Energy Savings Program. A professional will come out and evaluate your home. They'll look at the insulation level. They'll put together a detailed report for ways that you can save energy. There's many utilities like ComEd that offer incentives and rebate programs to help their customers save energy. ComEd has our Smart Ideas program to help customers. For example, we have a lighting incentive program where customers can get discounted compact fluorescent lamps at their local home stores. You can save about 75% energy compared to using incandescent lamps. Another program we have is our fridge or freezer recycling program. So customers with a second refrigerator or freezer, those can be costing you about $150 a year. So call ComEd, we'll pick up that fridge or freezer and we'll pay you $35. And is there a website that we can visit? It's ComEd.com or your local utility. Well, it's been great to get all this useful information straight from a ComEd energy doctor. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Terrific. We will have a link to that website at our website, designingspaces.tv, where you can click on the Think Green section and watch this show again. You can use it to make your home more energy efficient. For Designing Spaces, I'm Heidi Drennan in Country Club Hills, Illinois. Clean water, a healthy ecosystem, lower utility costs, and an efficient household. We all want these things and we can have them because the technologies are here now for a healthier environment and lifestyle. We're headed in the right direction, so let's keep going that way and think green. For Designing Spaces Think Green, I'm Ted Brunson. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.